Now it's time for another edition of What Would Jello Do? I go up and down with our President Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. He has a, a lot to answer for. Just ask Anita Hill and all the people who went to jail and some of them are still there because of his drug laws. We all have to thank him and show him the respect for the respect he showed us by pulling out of the presidential race. That took a lot, especially for somebody with that big an ego and maybe good as being pre at being president, but campaigning at the same time, he just couldn't do it anymore. You know, you got to give it up to the guy and give, <laughs> give him a hug if I could for doing the right thing and stepping aside. So now people saying, oh, it's a crisis. It's a crisis. There's only less than 100 days left to the election. How are we ever going to get an election done in less than 100 days? Parliamentary democracies have done this for eons. The prime minister, the premier, whatever, in the provinces in Canada, they call the election just like Britain and so many other countries. And then within a couple months, even 45 days, maybe a little longer, there's the election. It's all a really intense frenzy. People are interested, people vote, and then it's all done. It's not a four-year campaign, mainly to benefit the election industrial complex. But best of all, if everything is like that, all of a sudden, they're fun. Basically, I was saying he should just release all the delegates and campaign anyway and not have a brokered convention of any kind. I've seen old conventions like that when I was a kid. They're really, really fun. They're not just coronations for the election industrial complex. But the ballot rules in Ohio and whatnot, yeah, they've got to turn in their full slate any day now. But meanwhile, it's Kamala mania, Cami mania. Look at all the money coming in. Oh, yay. People are excited again. Even the Nikki Haley voters are suddenly going to cross over and vote for her. Maybe. We can't let all this go to our heads. Sure, everybody's smiling, everybody's happy, having fun, but those polls and stuff, to the degree that you can even believe them, have you ever been polled? I haven't. The needle has barely moved. One down, Biden. One bigger one to go. Dirty Donnie trump -amuck, who thanks to Joe and Garland twiddling their thumbs for a year, still isn't in prison. And instead, he may get back into the White House instead. Trump is not toast. The Trumpsies especially are not toast. What do you do about those followers anyway? They're running for Congress. They're running for Senator. They're running for Governor. They're running for State Legislature. They're running for Sheriff. School Board, remember Moms for Liberty? They're all running too. And if the Trumpsies get to wag the dog in either the House or the Senate, they will basically be collaring the dog. Spiked collar with a very short chain lease on President Harris who can't get a damn thing done. And of course, if they got the White House too, you're gonna wish it was still the Supreme Court we have now, believe you me. And let's not forget, even though he's stepping aside kind of as the Senate Republican leader, Mitch McConnell, just like Pelosi kind of stepped aside but still runs the damn place. He said that if Biden or Harris got another term, they would just make sure if they ran the Senate that not one federal judge or pretty much any nominee ever got confirmed until proper conservatives were put in instead and they got the message. Of course, if there's any of the shenanigans from the trump amuck criminals to try and steal another election, it won't be Pelosi as Speaker or Pence as Vice President, Mike Johnson, hardcore election denier who does everything by the book, the good book, the Bible, he will be in charge of whether or not to let somebody steal an election, depending on what Jesus tells you to do. In some ways, Congress and down ballot is even more important. Think local, which means for crying out loud, for once, Democrats, you've got your coronation convention, which less and less people watch every time because it's just a coronation. And the it's all about me, 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 the presidential candidate. Me, me, vote for me. Nothing about 
coattails. You need better Congress people. We need better senators. We need better DAs. We need better state attorneys general and election commissioners, that kind of thing. They never say anything about that. It's all me, me, me. Robert Dole was going to lose in a landslide to Bill Clinton in 96. So what does he do at the convention? He runs against Dole instead of against Newt Gingrich, who behind the scenes was kind of his buddy getting some of the worst legislation that's blown up on our face, Telecom Act, letting the banks off the hook so they crashed the economy. NAFTA, all that. Gingrich was their buddy. And then, of course, Harris is going to have to do a lot more than she already has to distance herself from her boss when it comes to Israel. Hubert Humphrey, who last minute got the nomination for the Democrats in 68, he would not cross his boss, Lyndon Johnson, on Vietnam. Not one little bit. Right when everybody was crying for an end to the war, and Tricky Dick Nixon outflanked him on the left, saying he had a secret plan to end the war, which, of course, he had nothing in his mind. He was just going to expand it so the bomb makers could make more money. Can you imagine where we would be today if Nixon had never Never been president. These things have consequences. There will be lots and lots and lots of really intense protests. They want a speaker on behalf of the people who are not committed to speak on Gaza at the convention, which would be a very, very, very good idea, as would Harris having the guts to go out and talk to the protesters, not all of whom are reasonable, but a lot of them are. Meantime, all we're hearing about, oh, Cammy Mania, Trump raised $130 million, but she raised over $200 million in the same period. The money doesn't mean a thing here. Polls aren't really changing. Old Trump is doing a little bit more, but not in proportion to that. And she ain't Trump. That's the best calling card she had. The reason Biden thought he could actually win I'm not Trump. That's what got him in the last time. People didn't vote for him for the most part. They were voting against Donald Trump by a margin of 7 million. Got to go more than that. Remember when Clinton's big phrase was, it's the economy, stupid, that brought down the first George Bush for good reason? Well, this time it is the abortions, stupid. It's Roe v. Wade, stupid. It's women's rights to control their own body at a time when the other side has Project 2025 to put in where they're going to get rid of even contraceptives, birth control, because that's killing babies too, or so says Amy Coney Barrett, who doesn't even want people masturbating or climaxing or anything like that. That's the other one. Project 2025 is only beginning to surface in the minds of most people. What's that? I can't wrap my hands around that. That's 900 pages of psycho babble and stuff. No, that is the detailed plan on exactly how, since their chosen vessel, whether they would have wanted a better one or not, and DeSantis flamed out, Trump will be dictator on day one and all the people he can hire, all the people he can fire, all the regulations he can get rid of with a swipe of a pen, including most environmental rules, labor safety, as many, you know, abolish the Department of Education. They want that too. Women have no more rights anymore, but the police have lots and lots and lots of rights to get government off your backs. Uh, they can beat your backbone and paralyze you or kill you. This is what they should do if it's 2025, stupid. Wake up, stupid Democrats. Print up a condensed point by point by point, pamphlet, booklet on exactly what Project 2025 is. Name the names of all the Trump lieutenants who wrote each section for Donald Trump to be dictator on day one. Have something that you can hand out to every single person who walks in the door at a Harris rally, a congressional, somebody running for Congress, somebody running for city council, whatever. Have them handy to get as many of these pamphlets in people's hands as possible and get them to read them. And then get properly outraged at what's really coming and start talking to their neighbors, talking to their friends, one-on-one. -on -one. Become the media, not depending on the internet to do it for you. One-on-one, -on -one because after all, friends don't let friends vote for Donald Trump, especially three times 
or anybody who has ever sucked his penis in their lives and continues to do so when they used to dismiss him as insane and deranged like uh, Lindsay Ladybugs Graham or J.D. Vance used to do. This is the only way one-on-one -on -one, to reach those so-called swing voters. And it's a hell of a lot better way to spend a windfall of over $200 million than on focus groups, internet ads, and big budget TV ads. Go to the people, communicate the easy way. It's not too expensive to print those things and get one in the hands of every single person you possibly can, even if it means going door to door and sticking them in their mailbox. Lots of people are ready to help.